Well, hey there. Welcome to Manatic Stringworks. Glad to have you here. Please remember to like and subscribe for more video content. So for today's video, today's project, we have a 2015 Squire Thinline Telecaster. Now the owner wants a lot of work done to this guitar. <laughs> a lot of changes, upgrades, modifications, that kind of thing. So I decided this uh, probably warrants a few videos, at least uh, two or three, just to keep the total length of the videos down, <laughs> something watchable. So it's a nice guitar. The owner picked it up and uh, ordered a whole bunch of pieces and parts uh, to try and, you know, just upgrade it a little bit, do some changes that he wants to make it his own. So inside the case, a little storage compartment, there's a replacement bridge he'd like to try. Then we've got, you know, these are the new strings. Some various little screws, hardware components. <laughs> Some pickup screws that were uh, that fell out of the guitar. Yeah, whoop! Almost lost that part. <laughs> That's just the knob for the three-way switch. And geez, I'm throwing parts all over the place. So that's a new neck plate, so with the Fender F logo. Hard to see maybe in the camera shot, and with the uh, plastic on it. But just going to swap that out for the Squire neck plate that's on there right now. So I picked up some parts. Um, that the client wanted to replace, so the electronics, so a couple of pots, three-way switch, I'm going to change those out from the sort of import electronics that are on there now, and the client already picked up this loaded up pick guard, it's used, but it's got the Fender logo pickups on it, which I think are the same as the Squire ones, but just have the Fender logo. And has electronic package already there, but they're pretty it's pretty cheap import electronics, so we'll change those out. And hopefully the pick guard will fit <laughs> without too many modifications or any at all. We shall see, right? Famous last words. Alright, well we seem to have pretty much everything we need to get started. Let's get to the bench. So you can see, you know, the pickups and the controls loose. <laughs> Things are sort of a little sloppy on this guitar right now. There's a big bulge there too. It's maybe hard to see on the camera, but right from the side you can see the pick guard is bulging away from the body, so I suspect the wiring's interfering underneath the pick guard and was never tucked away nicely, so I'm sure we'll find out. Alright, so let's start taking some parts off. The client wants to reuse these knobs. They're actually nice um, brass knobs, chrome plated. Yeah, we're missing missing some hardware, <laughs> hence the wiggle. So I'm going to remove everything off of this pick guard and honestly I think most of the, the pots and the switch will probably just be uh, for the garbage bin really. The pick guard can be reused and the Squire branded humbuckers can be reused or sold. I think that would be someone would be interested in that for sure.
So a drill driver obviously makes shorter work <laughs> removing screws. So, you know, just be careful. Take your time. Seat the screwdriver head into the screw head properly. And don't forget to take off all the screws. <laughs> And here I had to get rid of those pickup screws, so just using my nipping pliers here. It's actually a nice flat face so you can get right under the screw head. Just pull those through. Couldn't get them with my fingertips. And we just slide that out from underneath. There we go, that could be sold or reused on a different guitar. So there's the cause of the bulge. So we had the pickup wires weren't in the route. So that's too bad someone would do that, you know, when you're putting the guitar back together. I think you'd see that. Oh, I'll get all those pickup springs. So when I loosen the pickup screws obviously the springs popped out so we'll get get all those accounted for there should be eight of them and if you're OCD you've been counting <laughs> all right yeah there's that control package uh, not very pretty at all in fact I'm not even sure what this person had and thinking about when they wired this together they've got a big nodule I'll call it a node <laughs> of wires in the middle of nowhere sort of well soldered together so yeah, not really reusable at all So these humbuckers could be split at some point. For now they're going to be wired as is. Uh, so I'm going to take the strings off and I just thought I'd show you how not to string a guitar. <laughs> so yeah, you need more windings than that on the post of course at least two or three windings to create that tension to hold the string in place. We'll fix that. Alright, so let's get these strings off. You can do this uh, by hand. You can use a manual string winder. You can use a driver like I'm using there. It's a little quicker. Now these tips are pretty curled around, so much easier to cut the strings off near the bridge. And then you can just pull through the small bit of string that's left. You'd never get that curly cue at the end through there. all the strings off the bench <laughs> before you put the guitar back down. So the string gauge, you know, there were 12s on this guitar, like Stevie Ray Vaughan stuff. So really not appropriate for this style of guitar. So here are the pickups. A decent enough pickups. Definitely worth uh, keeping and using somewhere else, or uh, in this case, these f Fender ones we're going to use in the new installation. So 
So here's the replacement pick guard. So I'm just going to remove everything off of this pick guard. And we'll save it for the client to do with what they wish. Yeah, these are import electronics, but, you know, they seem to be wired together nicely. And as a unit, I could see that being used in another Telecaster or different style guitar. No problem at all. So I'll just put all the component pieces back. So that way there's nothing missing when the, someone goes to reuse this. If I don't do this right away, I always end up with parts laying around. And I don't remember where they came from. So like I said earlier, these pickups look exactly the same as the Fender ones, but they're just uh, branded Squire. So it's interesting. Every pickup sounds different though, so. All right, let's get these packaged up, put away. And while I'm here, I'll just uh, switch out the Squire logo neck plate and put a Fender one on with the F logo. Nice little upgrade. I think it's an upgrade. Looks nice. All depends what you want. Some people want to have all Squire because it's a Squire and some want Fender. You're not changing the headstock logo, but... And all the parts are interchangeable, so it's really an aesthetic choice. I generally do this by hand. I don't use a driver here. Sometimes I will, but most of the time, certainly the last little bit where you tighten it up, you do that by hand for sure. I'll put that plastic on, see how long that lasts. <laughs> Alright, so because this is going to be uh, getting worked on without strings on for a while, I'll straighten the neck out using the notched ruler here. That way uh, the neck, because it doesn't have any string tension anymore, won't bow, get into a bowed situation. So there we go. Alright, so that's the end of part one. Stay tuned for the next part where we'll continue the modification of the Thinline Telecaster. Bye for now.